My name is Amelia and I started noticing weird symptoms when I was probably about five years old. Um, I had a tick bite then and made some glands on the back of my head swell up, but we never really knew it was Lyme until I came here. When I was younger, I always had a bad immune system. People would get a flu for five days and I'd have it for ten. I'd get every cold and flu that went around. I had headaches five to seven days a week. I started getting migraines when I was in first or second grade. Just always weird things. I always had like weird sinus infections. I'd get one. I had one that I had to have surgery to make go away. And then my joints started getting really bad and they were always a little bit painful until I got mono. And after that, they went downhill so fast they would start popping out of the socket. It was called subluxation, I think. It was really, really difficult to go to school. I ended up leaving early a lot because my wrists would pop out, which made it impossible to write. And then I started having more and more joint issues to the point where I eventually stopped walking and ended up in the hospital because I was unable to walk on my own. And they suggested that it could possibly be Lyme, but they weren't very good at finding it and basically gave me a shot of Dilaudid and sent me home. And so my stepdad found this place, and we were very skeptical at first. I think I was actually kind of rude to Dr. Matthias with all my skepticism. He was so sincere that I ended up trusting him, and he was able to get me walking within a week. The worst of the worst was probably a few weeks before I came here, um, and that came on really quickly. Like, it took only a few months to to progress to the point where I couldn't walk. And then it just got worse and worse and worse until I couldn't walk without being half carried. We had just asked them to do tests and stabilize me, hopefully. They ended up proving my skepticism wrong by getting me walking. And all of the nurses were so kind and all the other patients were so kind. I felt very, very welcomed from the need, like immediately. The first time I started noticing getting better was actually after my very first bag here. I had a chelation bag. And that was the first night I walked to the bathroom by myself. And it was a huge celebration, obviously, because I hadn't done that. I had a lot of brain fog. I was very confused. I was sometimes at the point where I couldn't remember where I was. Um, my joint pain was really severe. I had headaches, stomach aches, nausea, um, anger, mood swings, like from severe depression to huge joys, happiness, and minutes. I had like my my body wouldn't listen, so like I'd try to walk and my legs wouldn't move, or my hands wouldn't move. I'd have tremors and I'd drop things. Most of them are completely gone, and the ones that are still around is very minimal, and I notice it getting better every day. I felt like all of the other patients are so kind, and everyone, you're all kind of in this together, and the nurses definitely are very welcoming and kind. I, there was never a time where I didn't feel cared for. I really can't wait to go back to school. Um, I really miss school a lot, and I miss all my friends who have been so supportive through this, but it's really hard not to be around them. I was an aerialist for about 11 years before I got sick, and I had hopes to work for Cirque du Soleil, but I don't really want to do that anymore. I want to be an aerospace engineer, so I want to do math and stuff, but I do want to go back to doing aerial dance. I would say that I completely understand the skepticism because this does seem too good to be true, and I was probably one of the biggest skeptics out there. I really didn't believe a word anyone told me about this. This place, if anywhere, is the place to be. Like, They have done amazing things for me that I really didn't think possible. I thought I was just gonna have to learn to manage my pain, but now I'm sitting here today and I've been pain free for weeks. I don't have any joint pain at all anymore. I feel so confident that I can go back and live a full happy life in a way that I never thought I would get to. I was so sick for so long and I was so scared that I wouldn't make it through. I was so depressed and in so much pain, but now I'm very, very confident that I can go back and just have a full, happy life.